Hello professionals, shall I change my job or continue in the same organization is a million dollar question and today by end of this video you will have a clear idea about those top 4 tools which you need to pick up to understand if it is a right time for you to change the job or not. So stay tuned till the end of the video if you wish to know the answer of this question. Now let's get started. To work in any organization for a long run, number one thing which you need that is recognition. This is one of the most important thing which any employee needs to continue in any kind of organization. If you feel that your work is not getting recognized by your seniors or your organization do not value your efforts, then it's a time to think why is it happening and find the real reason behind it. But before reaching to any kind of conclusion, you first need to evaluate yourself because in more than 50% cases, this could be a reason. Do you need to improve your work or are you even meeting the expectations of your reporting manager or not? Or do you need to brush up your competencies to meet the desired level of performance? These are few brutal questions which you need to ask to yourself. As an HR, I have seen many employees who always keep on cribbing that their reporting managers do not value their efforts. But when I used to hear other side of the story from their reporting manager, then it was very clear that employees were the one who were supposed to brush up their competencies to meet the desired level of performance. Here I will give you one real life example. There was an employee in one of my previous organization who was working in that company from last seven to eight years. But from last five years, he was performing exactly the same job role. During those five years, once his designation was changed, but despite that, there was no change in his roles and responsibilities and he was getting bare minimum salary hike each year. He was so frustrated that he used to tell this thing to everyone that in this organization, no one cares for the employee's efforts. And he told this thing on the face of his manager that if he will not get a decent salary hike, then he will not accept any new responsibilities and keep on doing his daily routine job. While on the other hand, his reporting manager and HOD were in the views that he does not accept any new responsibilities. He has fixed time to come and leave the office and does not stretch as per the work requirement. Overall, they were in the opinion that he is not competent to take any kind of new responsibility or any kind of new role in the organization. Now you tell me, in that kind of situation, will that employee ever get any kind of salary hike or promotion in that organization? Answer is known to everyone. You will find such kind of examples almost in all the organization. But my takeaway from this kind of story is that as an employee, we have to follow give and take approach, not take and give approach. We first have to give to the organization. We have to deliver the value and then we can expect to get that value back in terms of recognition, salary hike or promotion. If your work is not getting recognized despite all your efforts and taking initiatives which were successful according to the organization, then you should look for a job change because you will not get your desired growth if your work is not getting recognized. What are your views? Do share them in the comment section and your views will help many other people who are watching this video. Now let's move towards the second important cue which you need to pick up and that is long term growth. This is another important thing which an employee needs to continue in any kind of organization for a long period of time. But here first let me clarify growth does not only mean salary hike or change in designation but it means overall development of an individual in terms of skill enhancement, taking new responsibilities, getting authority to take the decision, raising salary and designation and of course learning new skills. So here you need to understand can you foresee that kind of growth path in your organization or you have already reached to a level from where growth path is not visible. As an example, when I was working for one of the mid-size organization, we were taking the interviews for the position of general manager sales and after two to three hours of interview candidate asked this question to the interviewer what is the next level available for me in the organization and the answer was as such there was nothing which was available for him because in that role he was supposed to report to the owners of the organization so in this kind of situation even if he would have achieved more than his targeted sales 
then also he could not have expected any kind of vertical growth in the company despite salary hike or change in the designation however he could have expected some kind of horizontal growth like his team size could have been increased he could have opened new vertical in the sales like b2b sales channel sales or corporate sales but as such there was no vertical growth path which was available for him so here you need to understand what kind of growth path is available for you in your organization vertical or horizontal and which one do you want for your career always do growth path discussions with your reporting manager at the time of interview performance discussion and goal setting and it will give you a clear idea what kind of growth path is available for you in your organization which will help you to decide if you should look for a job change or continue in the same organization now let's move towards the third important cue which you need to pick up but before that i want to know your feedback are you finding this video informative helpful yes or no if yes then like the video share your thoughts in the comment section share this video with your other friends colleagues so that it will be helpful to them as well and do subscribe to the channel so that you get to watch more such informative content in the future and your subscription motivates me as well to make more such videos for you it's a time for the third important thing which you need to pick up and that is work culture what kind of work culture are you getting in your organization will decide are you going to stay happy at your work or not do you fit in the work culture which your organization has or not is an important aspect to check as an example there are few employees who work really well when they are working under pressure while on the other hand there are few employees who just cannot work under pressure but they really do wonders when they work with relaxed mindset similarly there are few employees who want to work in a fast paced kind of work environment and feel that they are not fully utilized when they are working in a slow paced kind of environment similarly there are few employees who are okay to work with micro managers who wants to manage every minute of your working hours while on the other hand there are few employees who just cannot work with those kind of managers so here you need to understand what is the working culture of your organization and do you even fit in that work culture or not if not then you should definitely look for a job change because if you do not fit in that work culture then you will not be able to give your 100% and that will surely affect your growth in the organization so the best thing is to look for that kind of organization where you will be able to fit now is the time for the fourth important thing which you need to pick up and that is bad managers when you are stuck with that kind of manager who doesn't seem to be happy despite all your efforts and keep on nitpicking on your work then in that kind of situation rather than growing most employees start losing their self confidence which is even a worse situation but despite saying that do not be in rush or in hurry to reach to any kind of conclusion about your manager overnight please follow these steps which i'm going to say now before reaching to any kind of conclusion number 1 understand his or her expectations from the job role which you are performing and from you number 2 are you even meeting those expectations or not or do you need to brush up your competencies to meet the desired level of performance number 3 does he seem to be unfair only with you and other team members who are meeting his expectations are working happily with him or being unhappy is the basic nature of that person number 4 are you emotionally strong to handle any kind of criticism about your work or you take every little thing on your heart once you have followed all these four steps then also do not be in hurry to reach to any kind of conclusion then you have to find the patterns in the behavior of your reporting manager if you feel that you are continuously unhappy because of the behavior of your reporting manager then you should reach to some kind of conclusion and to reach to the conclusion you should ask this question to yourself and the question is will i be happy at my work if my reporting manager is changed but all other situation and circumstances will remain the same like your team members your job role your organization your targets and your stress level and most likely you are going to find the right answer so these are the top four cues which you need to pick up to understand if it is the right time for you to change the job or you should continue in the same organization if you feel that there is any other cue which we need to pick up then please give your inputs in the comment section and your input will help many other people another important thing if you wish to know what to ask to your employer in case if they ask you to leave 
then watch this video.